I'm joined now by Dr. Amanda Cross, who is on our Research Grant Programme panel. Dr. Cross, thank you for joining me. No problem. Firstly, you work in cancer epidemiology. Could you explain what is cancer epidemiology? So cancer epidemiology is looking at the distribution, the frequency and the determinants of disease. So this is in order to understand risk factors so that we can prevent cancer. Are there areas of cancer research that are being overlooked? We need more studies that investigate underlying mechanisms between lifestyle and cancer risk. And we also need to identify high-risk groups that we can implement uh, prevention uh, strategies for. What exciting developments are happening in bowel cancer at the moment? And what is WCRF funding in this area? So last year we funded a really exciting project um, looking at vitamin D supplementation in uh, bowel cancer patients and how that might improve their uh, fatigue related to their treatment. So it's a very simple study but could have massive benefits. Are you excited by current developments in cancer research? Now more than ever we understand the research that we need to do so we now need to get together in uh, multidisciplinary teams to move the field forward. Uh, WCRF are really encouraging those international collaborations uh, for cancer prevention. Well, what research is currently happening into cancer survivorship? There's actually very little data on recommendations for cancer survivors and we've received several really good grants um, to WCRF to fund some projects that will look exactly at this question. How much can one grant discover? One grant can really make huge strides in the fight against cancer and it can bring together uh, experts from all over the world to uh, initiate new collaborations. How do you choose which proposals to award funding to and is it a hard decision? We get a lot of good quality and diverse uh, applications so we try and look for those that will make a real difference and have an impact on clinical uh, settings and on policy. What makes a good research grant proposal? Got to have an important question with clear objectives, sound methodology, um, really good expertise with good collaborations. Uh, the study's got to have a lot of impact um, and uh, a clear effect of, on patient benefit and ideally on policies. And why is scientific research so expensive? Studies can take a long time to conduct and often involve new technologies which are expensive uh, and we also collect data from multiple sources involving multiple teams and uh, data providers. Well thank you so much for your time today Dr Amanda Cross, I really appreciate it. No problem.